Hello everyone, welcome to 10 Minute Tasting. I'm Adam Hanover, store manager at Rose Wharf in downtown Boston. This is my co-host for the day, district manager, Mr. Jose Castro. Jose, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you for having me, Adam. It is a frigid day here in Boston, the coldest day of the year so far. This is starting to become a Tuesday tradition down here. Last week was yeah. a snowstorm, this week it's cold. You know, Jose, it kind of makes me think of a joke. What do you get when you cross a snowman and a vampire? Uh, I don't know, Adam. What do you get? Frostbite. <laughs> frostbite, okay. With that I said, let's stave All off right. some frostbite with a nice cup of hot coffee. Absolutely. Now, Jose is the chair of Oradel Cafe, which is one of our partner affiliation networks here in the Northeast region. He's also my former district manager and a very good friend. I'm really excited to have him on the show. Jose, why don't you introduce the coffee that you've chosen? Yeah, absolutely. So first of all, just thank you for having me today. Absolutely. Uh, it's exciting for a lot of reasons just to be here with you and partner up with you and uh, uh, and then do this special coffee tasting. Uh, but um, uh, what we're going to taste today, it's called the uh, Starbucks Reserve Puerto Rico Café Zumbador. <laughs> All right, I want to make sure I got that right. Cafe Absolutely. Zumbador. And I'll tell you, it is a uh, it is a great tasting coffee. Uh, this coffee just came out and it started arriving in our in our stores uh, this past November. So it's new on our shelves. Uh, still, I'm hearing that it's getting out to a lot of stores throughout the country. So uh, if you have some time and you haven't had a chance to taste this coffee just yet, I suggest you do so. Okay. Yeah. Get on it fast. My store is on its last bag already, and it is not being reshipped out at this moment. So if you don't work in a Clover store, you haven't had it yet, find one as quickly as you possibly can. And for those of you that don't end up having a chance to try this coffee, we're very sorry to be sharing a coffee with you that you won't have a chance to try. All the more reason to take part in the reserve program, find a Clover store, get on Starbucks.com and order a bag of reserve and try it. Because this is a fantastic coffee and all of our reserve offerings are things that you do not want to let go by. Now with that said, why don't we hop right into the tasting and Jose, do you want to start us with the first of our four steps? Yeah, absolutely. So the first step is that we're going to smell our coffee and we want to, you know, identify, you know, uh, the types of smell and fragrances that we get out of this, out of the coffee here. So, mm. Mm. It smells fantastic. Yeah, it's such a it's such a mild scent that you could pick up a lot of a lot of different scents off of it. I get a lot of nuttiness. Yeah, you're getting the nuttiness. I'm getting more of the uh, like like that light chocolate. Yeah. Light chocolate. Now for yeah. me, nuttiness is a scent that I tend to pick up more. So any coffee that I sense any nuttiness on, that usually overwhelms the rest of my scents. Yeah. And for me, I'm such a chocolate lover, honestly, that uh, chocolate stands out for me immediately. Right. And uh, and uh, already I'm just like, okay, let me get to the chocolate yeah. piece uh, uh, to this. That's a really good point. I mean, I, I think what you tend to like or what you tend to notice more can impact what you pick up in a coffee. So that's really cool. Jose, Absolutely. why don't we so, move on to step two? All right. So let's go ahead and uh, take a slurp here. And uh, nice slurp and uh, get a good taste. Great slurp, Jose. That is a quality slurp from Jose right there. Slurping is key. One more here. That's got a great mouthfeel to this coffee. Oh yeah, you know, for me, immediately, it's just, it settles right on the tongue for me, dead, dead in the middle and, uh, and you know, I immediately, I mentioned chocolate earlier, it tastes like a, like a milk chocolate that, uh, 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 something like a candy or something like a milk chocolate that's just melted away within this coffee. So Jose, where are you picking this up on your tongue? Uh, me, towards the towards the middle, towards the yeah. back of my tongue. Yeah. Yeah, just like you said, right off the bat, dead center is right where I'm picking yeah. it up. Um, not much on the sides. Uh, no. Low acidity coffee. Um, low acidity Latin American coffees are, are a real treasure, I think. Um, I tend to not come across as many low acidity Latin American coffees as I'd like to, but this is one of those really special ones that I'm really enjoying. Oh my gosh, gotta get in here. And that middle of the tongue, what does that tell us about the body of this coffee, Jose? Well, the body of the coffee, it's medium. So it's a medium body coffee. It's uh, uh, the processing method that they use is the washed method uh, for this coffee. And uh, my God, it just, it just tastes so good and rich. You know, it's smooth at the same time. So. Yeah, this this has just enough body to linger on the palate, but not so much body that it stays for a long time. Right. And the mouthfeel that you get with that little bit of lingering is is so good. 
Uh, it's it's chocolatey. It's smooth. Uh, before we started, Jose mentioned milky. I th thought that was a great note. Yeah. Um, that that's that's this is a fantastic. Note. You know, so if you think about things that you can complement this with, if you wanted to pair it with, uh, you know, pastry of some sort, uh, you know, think about a uh, 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 chocolate pastry. Think about uh, maybe uh, you know some nuts, uh, uh, walnuts, and or or, or or peanuts, things like that, or uh, or even something citrusy will definitely also uh, uh, help the palate and give it even more good taste and have a lot of those juices yeah. just come right out. I'll tell you the flavor pairing that I'm most likely looking forward to at this point is the new almond croissant that just launched yes. today. Today's the first day of the Winter One promotion. Uh, and if you have not had a chance to try the new almond croissant, it is a new recipe this year. It is fantastic. Those little sliver of nuts would complement the nutty flavor of the Puerto Rico Cafe Zumbador fantastically, as well as that creamy center of the almond paste would really bring out some of the mouthfeel of this coffee. I'm actually good, probably going to try that when I get the back to my store this afternoon. Outstanding, outstanding. Jose, have you had a chance to, to partake in any of the Winter One promotional uh, food or drink items yet? Uh, you know what, today, this morning, I tried the Latte Macchiato. And I'll tell you, if you have not tried that beverage yet, you got to get to our store yeah. and try it. A absolutely delicious taste. And, uh, and, in, and in the way that it's uh, uh, put together with the aeration of the milk and the two espresso shots that are uh, carefully uh, uh, mixed into the beverage. And, uh, you know, the, the, the shot actually starts uh, to come out and, and, and brew and, and move towards the top of the foaming. Of the of the beverage it just gives it such a great taste so yeah. if you haven't had a chance to try that latte macchiato do so yeah that is the starbucks best latte right now i'm still a fan of the flat white i can't get past that thanks for chiming in with the comment anybody who feels like jumping in on commentary asking questions leaving comments we are perfectly happy rory dugan my district manager jumping in with the comment that she's having a latte macchiato right now i'm very Outstanding. glad to see that um, personally, I'm a fan of the flat white. Jose, what's your favorite latte? Uh, favorite latte for me, it has been since for about a good going on two years now. It's uh, uh, the skinny, uh, of a skinny vanilla latte with soy milk. Forget it. That is my number <laughs> one go-to on a daily basis. Everyone knows about it, but it just has such a great taste for me. Uh, so yeah. that's my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. So Jose, in the few minutes that we have left, I'd like to have a little bit of conversation with you about Oro del Cafe. All right. Um, so why don't we talk about uh, how you got involved with Oro del Cafe, how long you've been the chair, and uh, kind of what, what's coming up for us. Absolutely. So Oro del Cafe is a partner network uh, uh, here for uh, uh, the New England uh, region, and, uh, and it's a partner network that is, uh, it's, uh, it's set up to help to develop our partners. Uh, it's set up so that we can also focus on the Hispanic community as well as, uh, uh, you know, retain a lot of uh, Spanish-speaking partners uh, to our Starbucks stores. Excellent. So, you know, it's, uh, it's an amazing partner network. Our, our membership continues to grow. Uh, we're doing a lot of things right now with the uh, different communities out there within Boston. Uh, we've uh, been able to partner up with a lot of the different uh, chambers of commerce and uh, in some of the uh, his, uh, Hispanic communities. So there's a lot of great things happening with uh, Hora del Café. And uh, before we end, I'll give you guys some information as to uh, if you're interested in learning more about Hora del Café or even uh, the other seven uh, partner networks that exist with Starbucks, you know, you can definitely contact me and I can direct you uh, to where needed. So uh, awesome. I'll just throw my hashtag out there for, for Twitter. Uh, you can find me at Hora del Café, uh, B-O-S for Boston. And uh, as far as an email, you can email me at Jose, which is J-O-S-E-H-D-C, Boston at gmail.com and I'll get you all the information that you need uh, Our next tasting that we'll do with uh, uh, with that and would be the Hora del Cafe blend We actually have a blend uh, for our, our partner network, which is also delicious It's exciting and I will be sharing that with you soon Excellent. What I wanted to do was also take a moment and talk a little bit about this particular coffee We just mentioned to you how great it tastes and uh, and uh, you know how it's new and it's coming to our stores But you know what's interesting about this coffee is that uh, it comes from Puerto Rico But Puerto Rico actually has its own Puerto Rico blend that they uh, launched in their stores back in 2002 So here we are now 2016 and this is the first reserve coffee that's being launched out of Puerto Rico 
So it's pretty exciting, you know, when you think of uh, just the word Café Zumbador, you know, you ask yourself, like, what is that? What exactly is that? So Café Zumbador is basically, um, it's uh, it's two families that have been uh, growing uh, coffee throughout the uh, mountain regions in Puerto Rico for many of generations. So that alone is pretty exciting, but when you think about uh, the word uh, Zumbador, Zumbador is actually a Spanish word for hummingbird. Okay, so when uh, when uh, they were working through their farms and fields all these decades, uh, you know there was a lot of hummingbirds that uh, made nests within their farmlands. So because of that, then they named it Café Zumador, which is which is pretty nice. It's pretty amazing. It complements yeah. it well. I thought that was a really cool detail about the coffee. Yeah, yeah, and then you know when you think about Puerto Rico, uh, you know people have had a chance to travel and they do a lot of tourist things in Puerto Rico. But uh, you know you don't think about uh, it, it's an island, but it it also has a very very high uh, mountain region. And then this mountain region uh, is called uh, El Cordillera Central. And then this mountain region is where uh, 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 these two families have been growing coffee all these years all these years and uh, it is literally the highest mountain region in Puerto Rico so a lot of this coffee uh, that is being grown there uh, is growing between 2400 to 3000 uh, feet of elevation so uh, you know so it's pretty amazing to hear that to learn about it and uh, there's just so much more that's going to uh, be coming out of uh, the great coffees that are made in the Puerto Rico farmland so uh, just a little FYI for you if you haven't been to Puerto Rico man take a vacation to Puerto Rico small island literally from one end to the other it's about a hundred miles uh, if, if you go uh, uh, um, if, if you uh, if you go from uh, side to side it's about 37 miles so literally it's a small island but a lot of great things come out of come out of this island so yeah you know before we sat down today Jose kind of showed me a map of Puerto Rico I've never been to Puerto Rico on vacation unfortunately but seeing kind of the diverse topography of the island that I was not aware of and seeing just how big this mountain range is that this coffee is grown on. It was a really cool thing to see. That's one of my favorite things about the reserve program is you get coffee from unique single origins. You get to learn a lot about geography. You get to learn a lot about the people from across the world that grow coffee, the great farmers that work for this company. Um, and that's very cool to see. Uh, Jose, in the last few minutes that we have, um, tell us uh, the last few things about Oro del Cafe. Who can join Oro del Cafe? Okay, Oro del Cafe is open to all partners in all stores at all levels. You know, what's, out, what's outstanding about what we're doing here in Boston is that when you look at the different chapter and partner networks that we have, it is literally formed from uh, baristas, uh, uh, shift managers, uh, assistant managers that are out there in other uh, uh, districts, as well as uh, even district managers and regional directors. So there's a lot of support that's taking place in putting a lot of these chapters together. There's a lot of development that's taking place for our partners. You know, there's a lot of uh, coffee knowledge that is also being shared. There's a lot of, uh, and at the end of the day, a lot of fun really is happening. And I think the, the, the biggest, you know, piece of fun that we've had most recently is all the partner networks have been joining together, uh, and it was through this past holiday season, to give back to the community. And it was amazing to see how much we were able to accomplish and how much we were able to help a lot of the Boston uh, 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 children in Boston and their families through the holiday season. And that's just one small thing to come uh, as we continue this calendar year from all the different partner networks. So uh, if you're a partner listening to us and you're going to check this out at another time, I'm telling you, look into the partner network for Starbucks. There's a lot of great things that can happen for you as well as what you can provide and give to the, uh, to the communities. Awesome. Yeah, Jose, I can share. I'm not Hispanic, but I am a member of Oro del Cafe. You don't have to be Hispanic to join. Uh, get involved in the Partner Affinity Network. As Jose said, it's a lot of fun. You get a lot of chances to give back. Um, I always enjoy being at the events. Um, you always get to mingle with a lot of people yeah. and meet some people. It's very exciting. Um, so before we sign off, I just want to give the upcoming schedule of the Periscope series. Next week, Tuesday, I will be with District Manager Adam Modzell, and we will be teaching beginner latte art. So if nice. you are interested in upgrading your flat white game, uh, trying to put some designs on top of your lattes, just kind of up your game as a barista, next week is the week to sign on. We will be doing beginner latte art. The following week, the 19th, we will be pushing back until 2.30 p.m. to accommodate my co-host for the day, District Manager Damian Waugh from Cambridge. We will be meeting to discuss the Black Partner Network, a different affinity network, and we will be tasting Casi Cielo. 
the last Tuesday of January, this is the really exciting one. We will be taking a virtual tour of the reserve bar at Harvard Yard in Cambridge. We're going to meet with store manager John McCusker. He's going to walk us through the store, show us some of the bells and whistles of the upstairs, and then we'll have a coffee tasting together. So a lot of really cool stuff coming up on, on the show over the next few weeks. I just want to say thank you to Jose for coming on the show today. Thank you to all of you for watching. Uh, at J Castro SB on Twitter, at Sombra They Adam on Twitter. Feel free to reach out to me if you would like to be on the series. Feel free to reach out to Jose if you would like to become a member of Oda del Cafe. And have a great Tuesday, everyone. Stay connected. Have fun. There's more to come with what Adam is doing with the, with a lot of these Periscope and coffee tastings. You're going to learn so much and get so much out of this. And it's just going to be a fun uh, uh, journey all the way through. So thank you, Adam, for having me. You're welcome, all right. Jose. All right, guys. Bye, Take care. Everyone.